have in front of me here a high gain UHF grid aerial that's available on tvtrade.ie. Now it's the highest gain aerial that's on our website and the three component parts that make it up are the dipole, which you can see here, which actually pulls in the signal. We have a deflector grid that sits at the back of the aerial that is capable of deflecting away unwanted signals. And also we have a bracket here that's actually used for mounting this onto a pole. Now in terms of the tools that we're going to need for the assembly here, I'm just going to quickly mention that we need a flathead screwdriver, which I'm using as pointer here, a snips, a 10mm socket and a ratchet, and also a gripper like this. Okay, so the first thing to note here is that it's possible to mount this aerial either vertically or horizontally and the aerial by uh, default, this bracket here, comes in a manner that allows it to be mounted um, uh, vertically but most transmitters in Ireland, with the exception of one in County Loud, are all actually horizontal. So the first thing I need to do is just come along here. So you can see here that the bracket is here and the angle bracket is 90 degrees to it. Okay, here, what I want to do is just rotate that a further 90. So what we'll do here is, we just undo this wing nut, we push through here, we slide this back in. And what we want to do is we want to come from the side where the wing nut is, here, push this all the way through. And we'll see here, as we push this in, there's actually a square part to this bolt here. So when we push it in, it locks in, and it means we can simply hand tighten and the, the, the bolt won't move in this, okay? So we can see that there, so I've locked that in there. I'm not gonna tighten it in the whole way, and I'll show you why in a moment. Okay, the next thing to do is actually come along and to actually wire up the die bolt here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I just pull off this cap here, and I have a length of coaxial cable here. So I pick up a set of snips like this, I cut off, or actually what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna feed this directly through here. And so it's quite a snug fit, so it's best just to actually feed the cable through and then pair it down. So just going to rotate around. Series of vertical incisions. Move the bracket here. And what we have is just a little piece of earth wire left here is sufficient. So we rotate this in an anti-clockwise direction. Then I get my dipole here, or my snips and I cut it directly through the dielectric here. So you just do that all the way around. Pull off this excess here. And what we've decided to do is, because we know we're more than we need there, what we'll do is, this is it. So we just pull this cable backwards now. And once you get to this position here, we just push it forward. So what we have here now is, this core wire is feeding into the centre here, and I'm just going to use this flathead screwdriver to screw it in. For this part, you can actually use a Phillips part, and for this part here, what we need to do is just tighten this in on the saddle part, and we're tightening in the earth wire. Now, the significance here is that we want to have this tight, but also we want to make sure that neither the earth nor the core wire are touching each other, because if they are, we're going to have a lot of interference. And we can see here that reassuring if we see some core wire there, so we know we're going to have a good electrical connection here. And we just come along, we get the gap, cap, and we squeeze it on like this. Okay? So what we do at that point is, I'm just going to pull this grid area forward. So we have these two brackets here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unscrew this first set here of wing nuts. And we're going to just have to join the dipole together with the actual area. So we'll see it here, slide it in, I put that wing nut in there. And we could repeat the same process on top here, just to give a bit of stability to this as we're tightening it in. And we'll just bring back the area here. You can move these excess tools out of the way and just rotate this around to hopefully to give a better view. And we're just going to repeat here, take off this particular wing nut and the washer that comes with it.
We'll just tighten in here. So what we're going to do with this thing point here is we'll just go from corner to corner with a flat head screwdriver and hold the nut in or the, the, the bolt in position and then tighten in the wing nuts, maybe using the spanner. Now, just for the brevity of this video, I'm just going to hand tighten at this point here. But you can see here, this is obviously where we put in the flat head screwdriver right here. Okay, so we have top and bottom done now. So the final um, stage of the assembly is I just turn over the area like this. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab this bracket here. So what we have here is loosen it off. So when we do this here, the important thing is in the center of the grid uh, array at the back, you can see here that there's different gaps, but the wide section here is where we just bolt this on, okay? So that's it, that's tightened in quite well. Once again, we could use um, something like the, the, the grippers that I have there if you want to rotate it further and slide it along. And what we'll do here now is I'll just loosen this off here like this. And we can actually move this into position here. So if we look at this pole here, what we can actually do is we can just get it. And we can just slide it down. And what we'll do then is, if we just look here, it's gripped quite tightly. So what we'll do then is we'll actually just tighten it in uh, with that 10 millimeter socket that I showed earlier. Now in terms of the front, so we'll point this directly at wherever the transmitter is. And if we run this aerial down here, what we'll do is we would just run it down neatly like this and then tie wrap it to the pole and run it straight down. So hopefully that's a fairly comprehensive overview for you for both the assembly of this. This is a very, very popular area that we sell on the website. Uh, in actual weight, this weighs about 2.1 kilos and made of aluminium. So it's a very, very high gain area and the deflector thing on it means that for me anyway, in terms of grid areas, we've tested a lot of them, but this is the best that we've seen on the market. So that's it anyway, an overview of the high gain UHF grid area available on tvtrade.ie.